a Technics RSM 18 cassette deck. This has no overcurrent protection in it from the factory. And here's the inside. And uh, there is the uh, UL label. And we are going to put a line fuse in this unit. So we're going to cut this little wire nut off here. And we'll pull this wire back. And we'll pull this wire back. And this is the wire that goes into the transformer and the fuse is going to go right here. This is the brown wire that goes up to the switch. Okay, we're going to have to cut these little ties off. And this is the brown one that goes up to the switch. And it's going to go about right there. And over here. So we'll be stripping these two wires here. Okay, so we can tin these wires here, we'll put some flux on them. Okay, we'll get our fuse block out. This is the fuse block we're going to be using. I'm just going to put a little flux on the terminals here. Not too much. Okay, I'm cleaning off my tip. Normally I'd use a wet sponge, but I don't have one. So I just wiped it with a dry piece of paper towel. So we're going to put some solder on our iron. Put our wire through the hole. See it's going to be too long. So we're going to cut some of this off. Now it's just the right length. So we're going to take and put our block in there. Squeeze this down. 
See how it's shaped so it fits in there just right? And we will drop solder this. I get a nice full solder joint there. See how nice and full that is? Then we'll go over here on the other side. Put just a little bit of flux on here. Okay, this one's going to be a little long, so again, we're going to clip this off a little bit here. Okay, we're going to take our pliers again. Squeeze that down. Bring that up so it fits in there nice. Put a little solder on our iron. Now this thing's going to get hot here, so I'm going to hold it, bring that up like that, and hold it so it stays straight. See how it fills the hole nice and neat? I'm going to just add a little bit more because that's kind of shallow. There it is, a nice full solder joint. Now we can mount this little block. I'm going to look on the bottom. Solder joint looks good. Looks nice there. See it's nice and full. Nice and full here. Now I stand this up. Okay, now I can just tighten this up with a screwdriver. I'll just cut the excess bolt the screw off of the bottom. And now we'll just redo the wire dress again here.
we can tie this one to a quarter. And this one we can tie to the blue wire. And we'll just clip these little tie ends off. And the unit only draws like 13 watts, so we're going to put a half amp fast acting fuse in it. Okay, this block is just a little bit crooked, so we're just going to straighten that a little bit. And I'll bring it up close so you can see it all close up. I'm surprised uh, UL doesn't require the uh, line fuse. Thanks for watching.